In this demonstration, you're going to learn some of the fundamental concepts of pop-up windows. All right, so I've got a map that I've created, and I've added some layers to the map, including things like schools, parks and open spaces, floodplains, parcels. Uh, I've got a base map here. And um, so we have built into this Explore tool that's part of the Map tab. Uh, part of the Explore tool, it's a multifunction button, so it can do different things depending upon uh, what you're doing with your mouse. Uh, it has the capability of zooming, of panning, and of doing identify operations. Uh, in ArcMap, these were separate buttons. So you had uh, two separate buttons for doing zoom functionality. You had a zoom in button, a zoom out button. There was a separate button for pan, and then there was a separate button for identify. What they've done in ArcGIS Pro is to combine that functionality into one tool called the Explore tool. So that Explore tool combines multiple functions. So it's a multi-function tool and has the capability of zooming in and out, panning and identify operations. Um, Pop-up windows come into play when you're doing identify operations. And the first thing you need to understand is what is being identified. So the, the little um, drop down arrow uh, that's part of the explore, uh, explore button has a number of different options. And right now I have selected and contents as my identify layer. So what that will do is find whatever layer that has been selected in the table of contents. And when I do the identify operation, it automatically knows to identify against that layer. But of course you have multiple options, including topmost layer, visible layers, selectable layers. So you have multiple options here uh, that will determine what gets identified. Now with this explore tool activated, uh, at this point I can click on any of the features in my map. And of course, because I have parcels as a selected layer, and I have selected in table of contents here under the explore button. What that will do is perform the identify operation um, on the feature that I select. So if I find a parcel and I want to click on it, that will bring up what's called a pop-up window. Now the pop-up window is divided into two sections. Uh, the top part is the tree view. Uh, you'll see the layer uh, from the feature that I identified. Uh, you'll see the individual feature that was identified. Um, along with the default uh, field, in this case, the, that being the, uh, the owner name field. <clears throat> now, if you right click on these features, you have a context menu that will pop up that allows you to, to zoom to that feature, to pan to the feature, to select the feature, uh, to flash the feature. Uh, so you have a lot of different functions here that allow you to do different things with that, uh, that feature that's been identified. Now the bottom we have what's called the detail view and the detail view uh, by default is going to contain uh, the attribute fields that are part of the layer, uh, in this case that being the parcel layer. So these are all the attribute fields that are attached to that feature class and then these are the individual values for each of those fields for the feature that I identified. Down at the bottom of the pop-up window you have some additional uh, tools that will allow you to print the pop-up for the feature, and what that will do is print uh, essentially the attribute information. Uh, of course, you have the ability to toggle selection of the feature on the active map or scene, which in this case, I've already got it selected, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can also flash the feature. You can zoom to the feature. And so you've got some additional functions here. Now, you've also got the coordinates. In this case, that's gonna be the centroid uh, for uh, the feature, and uh, you can copy and paste these uh, into other applications if you need to do that. Now, there's other functions uh, that uh, are part of the pop-up window. Of course, by default, it's going to look like this, kind of a top-down type structure. But you'll notice if you mouse over uh, this little divider between the tree view and the detail view, uh, of course, you can pull it up and down to change the size of the, the tree view and the detail view. Um, you can show only the top view. I'll come back to this. Show only the bottom view or you can split into vertically stacked segments or vertically stacked elements. Now, if I click this button, what it will do is change the orientation of my pop-up window to look like this, All right? So, um, and you know, you're still seeing the same content, but it's just a different view of the data, different way, different way of viewing the data. Uh, <clears throat> so again, you've got the same information though, uh, on the left-hand side being your tree view, right-hand side being your detail view. If you wanna change that back, You'll just need to mouse over uh, the little gutter space here and then select split into horizontal and then it takes it back to what the default was. Now you've got a couple of other options here including top and bottom and if you select for example top that will show or hide the top most part of the button. Now you even though it's not there 
your gutter is still there, your divider is still there. So you can still pick that up and, and drag it down if you want to, if you do want to see the, the topmost part of that. And if you select bottom, right, then that hides the bottom, only shows the top. But keep in mind, you've still got your divider, and if you want to pull it back up, uh, you can. All right, so that's it uh, for this brief introduction to pop-up windows. Appreciate you joining me.